Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Angela here. So lovely to have you join yet again. Um, I'm here to bring you part four. Um, and today it's going to be about this piece over here. So um, this is going to be, it's easier than it looks. <laughs> so I hope that you guys are keeping up. Um, and of course it's recorded so you can do it, take as long as you need. Uh, I hope that I'm not holding you back. That's what I mean. So, um, yes, this is what we're going to tackle today. And I love this piece over here. Um, now, uh, this is uh, my original folio. So I'm just going to have a little breeze through here with you. Just to remind you what we're going to do. We're going to make an envelope um, over here, which is made with one of my templates. Okay, so it's envelope one that are, you will find these templates in my shop. So this is the one we're going to use for this one over here. Um, and we've used it for quite a few different ones in here. The bottom one over here is a window envelope. Now you could use the same template and put a window in yourself um, because these are cut to the same size. Okay, so you could do that and that's not difficult to do. Otherwise, you could take a window envelope and um, create this at the bottom here. So that's what we're going to do. I'll just move this a bit further down. At the top here, uh, we have a card that slides out over there. So we'll be doing that. Um, we've got, oh, let me close that one again. Then on here, we've got just a little, move that up, um, a little card with some tickets over there. So that's not difficult to do. Um, We've also got some lace that we're going to put on over here um, so that ultimately we can tuck in our tags. All right, so um, there we go. That's what we're going to do today um, and fit that onto our backing piece and hopefully into our journal. We'll see how far we get. All right, so um, let's get started on that now. So I'll just put that together like that, move that out the way and let's get started. Right, so... What you need to do is grab the folio that we were working on. Um, as I said, we're going to be doing this side today. This bit's all already attached, so that's great. The first thing that you want to do is you want to measure out the size of the piece of paper that's going to fit on this side here. All right, so I'm taking it quite close to the edge um, in this case because my actual envelope that I've made, the template, um, you need every millimeter here to do that, okay? Um, and why I say that is you don't want to get this paper into this fold line over here. So be very mindful of that. Again, match it up with the paper that uh, as far as length is concerned with this piece over here. So you want to make sure that these two are the same length that way. Um, and then you want to take it as far up to the edge as possible, um, just up to, just before that um, fold line over here. All right, so as you can see, um, that's pretty much it. Okay, so that's what we're doing there. Now, I'm not gonna give you measurements because it depends on um, where you've got fold lines and it, you really will need to measure with your own ruler and work that out. Okay, so that's what we're gonna use, this piece over here. Um, so, Cut that out first of all. Let me move this out the way. Um, the other thing that we want to do is I want to uh, cut out using that template for the envelopes. You're either cutting two of these to make one for a window down here or cut one of these. Um, this is in this lovely print. And then on the underside, I have printed it with this from the Christmas, pink Christmas journal kit um i just like this but you can use any of the pages from this kit this is just something i have that's also my porch prints um kit right so that's going to go at the top there um if you don't have the right size window um just cut two of these and put your own window in for um that bit over there you don't have to have a window in it um, I'm just going to be having a window in mine. Right, so you can see that this envelope matches exactly um, to the edge of your page there. Um, and we're going to have one like that and one like that. All right, so um, 
you can either as i say have two of these or you can do what i'm going to do here so let me just show you what i did here sorry for all the clips i've used my scraps so this is a piece of uh, a strip that you get in the kit piece of ephemera i'm going to use that i've taken one of those little tickets that are in the ticket kit from my porch prints and i've just put various pieces of scraps that i've torn to match up to this envelope now the reason why i've got this here is because i'm going to cut that off now this envelope um is exactly the the, the length of it is exactly the size of this bit here so i will be just be cutting off the end right over there okay um and this is what i was saying to you earlier in the week is um make do with what you have you know don't go out and buy envelopes just for this project um make use of what you have and if it means that you've just got to use paper to make it up then do um all right so i'm just trying to line this up here just cutting off the end here of my envelope like that and need it to be straight Angela so I'm going to just do that like that and I'll keep that and use it for something else all right so that's what we've got there um just want to make sure that is straight while I'm about it looks a bit skew but we'll see once we've stuck everything down okay now what we want to do now is um i have just grabbed a couple of scraps and made a bit of a quilt on there so um that's what i'm going to do i'm going to just stick these down um so this one is, was last just looking for the one that's first so i think it'll be um this one so oops one on the floor so we'll just start i just like all these clips and things all about me um just to while i'm working things out okay so put this on quickly i've seen everybody getting on really well with this which is so lovely to see so i hope that you are giving this a go yourself um i think that if you you've got lots of time if you want to make this as a easter gift for somebody so you know definitely give that a go right so we're going to stick this down just over here over the bottom part of that window um and then how did i have this i had this one on next i think i'll probably speed this up but just use the scraps that you have left over from the trimmings that you've used from this kit. All right. So that's really what I have done. Okay, so we've stuck all of that down like that. Now, what I want to do before I go any further is because we're going to have an, a card going in here, not over there, I want to just trim a, a sliver off the top. Now, please do that not on this flap side, on the other side. Um, I want you, you need the flap for this project. So we just want to take that off like that. Okay. Um, and then what I want to do is I want to just um, stick this on as well. So let's do that as well. Now this is just a piece of ephemera which is so pretty. I think it's that way. So I'm going to stick that just across there like that. I'm going to do the same on that side as well. Okay. All right. And then this is going to just, this little label is just going to go at the top here. And I'll just put that, and I do love these labels, these My Porch Prints ones. They're not overstated, so I quite like that. Okay. Right. What I'm going to do now, ladies, um, 
is I'm just going to uh, stitch around here. So not the top, just the sides there like that. Okay. Um, and I will be back in a minute. Remember, this is where your card's going to go in. You don't want to close that up. Um, what you could do is you could cut that bit there and open this right up and then stitch the back right on. But you also want to close this side. So these three sides here, most importantly. Okay, everyone. So I have just completed that. I did manage to um, loosen this because I'd stuck this right down, you know, so don't <laughs> do that. Open that up before you stick this around. You know, things just don't go right always for me either. All right, so I have stitched all around here um, and then I did the last bit to keep making sure I didn't sew these two together. All right, it doesn't matter because this flap will, will be hidden away anyway. So there we go. So that's now all down and a pocket made. You can put um, a little piece of a different color paper, but because it's not white, I'm not too worried about that. Okay, so um, what else do we want to do here? We want to stick on a couple of these little fussy cuts. Um, I had one of these sort of ones. This is from the Tim Holtz Wildflower die cut. So there's one of those sort of a goldy uh, peach color. Um, and then I've got one of these that are also a peachy pink color, more pe peach than, and that's more apricot, I suppose. All right, so I've left my other little gadget behind me here. So I'll just use my nails quickly. I've got a lovely little brush thing that I usually run over this, which takes out all the bits and pieces. But yeah, I cut out a whole f a bunch of these. So that's what I'm going to use over here. All right. So the other thing that we want to do is we want to put a little uh, one of these in. So that's going to be where we wind our little um, string around so like a coin envelope thingy so we need to put that on as well so perhaps i should do that first so i'm just going to grab my piece of sponge and my pokey tool here and before i stick that on let's just put that to the side what i want to do is just find the center point here quickly so it's pretty much here and then it's just yeah that's about there. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to leave a little bit of a dot there. And then I'm going to just open that up. Put in my little sponge. Like that. And then I'm going to just push that through the sponge. Like that. And there I've just taken some card sandwich them together put a little bit of that script scrap that i had and put through a little pink um mini brad these you can find on my amazon favorite lists as well all right so that's all ready to go there and then it's just easy peasy lemon squeezy put that through the hole and uh, flatten it like that Right, and again, I'm just going to use some of my masking tag because I don't want it to catch on the tag or anything else that I'm going to put, use. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the glue in there on there again. This is just to make sure that masking tape doesn't lift. Um, and then I'm uh, just going to put that over the, I do make life hard for myself. I could have really have done this before I sewed it together, but you know, <laughs> it's one of those days. All right, so that's all done. That's that one. Um, so we just want to put on our little die cuts now. So I'm going to start with this one and just put some glue on. Right, we've done that one, so that one's ready to go. Now, all I want to do here is put something on the back here. Um, so I've taken this paper from the kit. I'm going to just stick that over here like that. 
and I just want to make sure it's not going to be too long. Um, no, that's going to be perfect. All right, so we're going to just stick this right down here, get it as close to the top as possible. Just like to uh, reinforce that, um, like that. Okay. Okay, we've got a bit of a lump there because of the, the brand, but that's easily sold. It's gone now. Okay, so we've got that bit stuck on, which is great. And then what goes on here is that's going to be like that. And then what I did was, because that folds down like that, I didn't want to put this upside down. So I've got one of the pieces of ephemera there that I'm going to make into a pocket like that. Um, and I'm going to stick that so that we've got a pocket on that side over here. All right, so that's the side I don't want the glue. We're expecting snow today, as are many of you across Europe, I think in the Netherlands as well. But it hasn't arrived, so I'm not sure if it's delayed or what. But um, yeah, we didn't get that snow today. So I'm not sure if it's still going to arrive, as I said. So we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so we've got a little pocket there, and then what I did was I've just got a couple of these tags. So I'm just going to cut those off. These are from the tickets. They're separate um, kit as well. So I'm just going to put in one over there and one over there like that. So we've got four tags, tickets I should say, just sticking out that pocket there. Okay, so that one is now complete. Um, the only other thing is to put in the little card and really that was again uh, a little card I've just measured from there to there taken this piece of ephemera of the bunny that's going to peep through the window put on a tab now you do get tabs in this kit um, they are really nice they look like they've got metal plates on you can use those and in hindsight I, I wish I had really so go and have a look for those I don't know what I've done with them, but go and have a look because they are really nice and you can use them. So I've just used some of the stripey scrap and some of the cover scrap and made a card just to fit in here. So that will just slide in like that. OK, um, and you just get a little bit of the bunny, um, the little bunny's face peeking through over there. OK, so there we go. All right, so there's the bunny over there. So that's the bottom piece easily done. Um, take this out the way, I think. And then for the bottom one, uh, sorry, the top one, as I said, you're just using that envelope template that I've used, cut out. Um, and what I've, I need, I've done here is I've just um, distressed around the edges. And I'm going to actually, um, I just want to do it here as well. Right, this, this is really quick and easy, so I'm just going to stick this down. Great size envelope this to use for all different sorts of things. I use this a lot. All right, so then what we're going to do is just a couple of things to go on the front here. The first is I've cut out one of these bunnies. Um, it was from the tags. You've got a tag, uh, two tags that are joined together. Um, I think I might have it here so I can show you. Okay, so here's the tag, um, the booklet, sorry, the booklet. Uh, that's part of the ephemera and I've cut out that from there. All right, and then I've kept that bit at the top there, um, which is going to feature on this page as well. All right, so that's what I've done. Um, I've just inked it and I've stitched around there a few times. You don't have to stitch around there. Um, this envelope is going to be this way, so your flap needs to be at the top in this case. Um, I'm going to now stick this over here. And then what I did was I had this pink label. This comes from... Um, uh, chapter one um, so those labels uh, go over there and then that's the bit from the top of this um, little booklet page that I'm going to put in the middle here like that okay so we're going to just stick that all down quickly I'm looking forward to a couple of days off um, after next week so that I can 
we have midterm break so got some marking to do but i have also just want looking forward to some r and r <laughs> do whatever i want hopefully mind you that's never the case is it lady <laughs> there's always lots to do yeah lots to do but it's not long and spring will be here so have to think about that and spring's my absolute favorite season i love spring it's my favorite need to think of a spring part project to do yeah hopefully uh we we freer then <laughs> right so i'm going to just stick that down over there like that okay so that's what we're doing for that bit over there the back i didn't do anything to um and then what i did here was i made a card um, from one of the other bunny pages for this bunny which I love um, I've just stitched it on to card I'm not putting a tab on because you won't be able to bend it um, so I'm not putting a tab on there um, so to, um, but because this is slightly recessed you can still grab it um, and then on the back what I did was I took the bunny pages that are from the journal pages and I've stitched that on the back here I also did that on this one as well with a different bunny page which I thought was really cute so that's what I've done there um, and then this one will go into this one here like that okay what to do now is we are going to fit this onto our um, sheet over here but before we do that I need to put a little bit of lace on here so let me just grab that quickly and then I will be right back okay so I've got a piece of lace here it's crocheted lace and what I want to do is I want to fit it onto the bottom here you can glue this if you want um, I am going to um, stitch this so I'm going to use my little fabric clips I'm going to just tuck that around there like that um, and then I'm going to just do the same on this side pulling it a little bit tight so that um, my tags are going to be able to stay in there like that and then of course the bottom as well so that's going to work perfectly just to keep my house my tags in there like that all right so you can stick it down if you want uh, with fabric tack or, or, or three-in-one beacon that will work perfectly well but I think for me what I want to do is I just want to stitch around that um, and keep it in place all right so I will come back and join you just in a minute all right so you can see I've just stitched that over there and right around there like that so that's now going to be a nice pocket for to house the tags there right so what we're going to do now is we just want to finish off this i need to just put in the little um forgot to put this in uh, and probably again easier before you stick <laughs> you stick down the the sides there but not a problem it still will work um so what i want to do is just want to put my hand in here oh mr step <laughs> join up your envelopes like that um, place this upside down um, and make a little mark with a pencil where you want to put this in so i like to put it on there so i can see exactly where it needs to be um, i've made a little mark there so that they line up when you put them together so i've got my hand in here i'm going to just make a little mark right over here where it needs to be um, I'm going to then just put this through like that so I'm quite happy with that and then the tricky bit is now just to get those little spikes down thank god for nails <laughs> okay so it is flat now luckily and again I'm going to just put some masking tape over that just keeps it nice and flat you don't want tags and things catching and then ripping your envelope so 
you know this is this is the answer really okay so just going to grip that quickly and there we go that's all done so you can see in there that's nicely covered now all right so we've got that bit done now this is going to go at the top of our paper so again what we're going to do is we're going to just put some glue on here like that i'm going to just take this piece like that bend it over um, and line that up nicely sorry okay press it down and that should lie nice and flat like that okay there we go and then the same on this side so here's your flap at the bottom this one does have a bit of this and I think I just want to slightly angle this side because I did chop it off and I'm going to put some more glue on here okay and same applies on this side so we're just going to oh I've got a little bit extending here so I'm just going to cut that off there we go and then there we go and that line nice and flat like that then hopefully <laughs> with any luck with any luck okay so there we have this bit done now all right so um i'll get to decorating and putting the tags in at the end what we want to do now is um want to put that aside we will put string on there so i could do that now just because it'll hold those down flat she's using some of this linen twine this was gifted to me by gina at the firefly studio so i am so sorry i have no idea where she got it from um but it is really great you can also get some cream um lovely french linen thread which you could also use um this is a cream one from um the lovely carol from um oak house journals so this is also lovely and in keeping with the french theme there we go so if you're needing some of that i love using that as well um, right, so I'm going to just tie this around the bottom, tie, match the, the lengths up here. And tie a sort of a knot. And then what I do is I then, after I've done that, I then tie a knot in the end here. Um, because otherwise these get a bit unruly. <laughs> they do. You could even use embroidery thread for this, really. Um, use what you have, guys. Don't go and get something else. All right, so this is now going to work really well just to go behind here. And it's going to just keep this together for the moment. All right, so that's what that's going to happen. This will end up being stuck down in a minute. Um, but I just need to do another part before we can do that. Right, what I've done here now is this is the bit that's going to stick down in that area there. So that middle bit there. I've cut out a piece of card. You can see that if I lift that up, it would settle perfectly in the um, sort of bottom of the valley there. All right, so it doesn't go to the top. That doesn't matter. It's just to strengthen the paper. And then what I've done is, and this isn't even even, I've got about a centimeter that side and not quite a centimeter that side that's the bit that's going to fit down there and then i've just got little bits either side and it could have really have been wider um so what i've done is i've just um 
that's going to end up going there and then we've got a little bit that extends either side all right probably this way is better remember we didn't stick down a piece here because that will end up going underneath there first all right and then like that okay so measure the width of that area there and cut a piece that's going to match at the top and the bottom um, that area there plus about a centimeter or longer on either side this is just the scrap that I had all right and that's I've then folded along the uh, fold lines there so make it slightly smaller ever so slightly smaller like a hair's breadth so that it's going to when you close this up it's going to um, work perfectly okay this is what we're going to bind our journal pages onto and i'm going to use a bit of a pamphlet stitch on here so then i've just taken a piece of card i'm going to just stick this on the underside of the paper just to give it some strength so i will just put that there and come on angela there we go right so you can see it's just narrower than that all right you don't want anything standing in the way of um your fold lines now you could if you wanted to um put some of this either side of this so let's do that this is just to strengthen the fold lines now and you could really do this on any of your fold lines that you have done even for the ones to do with the envelopes uh, masking tape is great for reinforcing so you can't go in there okay right great strength okay so we've got that sorted so that's all ready to go and i'll just fold those lines up like that right um now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my journal pages so remember i asked you just to print these off however many you want i have got eight complete sheets here which i have folded in half all right and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just put a clip on the top here and a clip on the bottom here like that and then um i am going to um use a little template right what i've got here is i've made myself a little i make lots of templates as you know but i've found the middle um i've gone a centimeter down from the top and the bottom and then i've gone halfway between there and halfway between there it doesn't really matter what you what the measurements are i'm just trying to um recreate what i have here on here so just get a piece of scrap um, make some marks on it, find the middle, um, decide a centimetre from the top, a centimetre from the bottom, and then whatever it is here is going to then work with what you do here. All right, so that's what I'm doing here. Get my little uh, spongy goody thing again, and going to now just push this right through. like that okay take that out um, and then I'm going to do the same over here now this will be longer but that doesn't matter um, what we want to do is ascertain a middle sort of mark so again I'm going to just take my pencil and I'm guessing this so I'm having a look here and deciding right this is the halfway mark and this is the halfway mark so if you're not comfortable with doing that then go and measure it right and then I'm going to just run a pencil line down the middle there now what I'm going to do is oh the pencil line wasn't quite long enough <laughs> so we need to make it longer 
Okay. Now, again, you want these clips. You want to measure, measure your fold line there with the middle line there. And we want to make sure it's even on both sides. So that looks about right to me. And then we want to do the same, match that fold line to that middle line there. Okay, so it's just in play. Right, and then you're going to press your holes where they were before. And these can come off. Okay, there we go. So now these holes here will match the ones in your journal because you've used a little template to create those. Right, so we need to now stitch this onto this bit here. So I'm going to just grab my threads and I'll be back with you. Okay, in guys, so what I'm going to do now is I've just taken some um, uh, binding cotton. All right, so use what you normally use. Um, I'm now going to just tuck this piece underneath that clip here. Hopefully it's going to stay. Now I'm going to put my thread and I'm just doing a five um, point pamphlet stitch here. You can do a three if you want. Um, this is what I normally do. So I'm going to thread that through there. And I'm sure you know how to do this. All right, so we'll pull that close and then we'll go to this one over here. And through that one over there. Like that. Then we'll go through the top there. And the top there like that um, just keep pulling these fairly um, taut a taut like that okay back through that one number two okay just give a little tug like that now we're not going to go through the middle one we're skipping one and going through there so there we go And then through the top one and the top one here can't see this one <laughs> there we go difficult when my uh, face isn't that close to it right so I'm giving that a little bit of a tug I'm going to go down to the second one again that's gonna be there and then back to the middle back to the middle there and straight through like that all right I'm sure you know how to do this. All right, so there we go. Just take that clip off. Uh, give this a little tug. Hold these fairly tug and then just check that these are tight. You don't want it to be loose. So just give it a little pull, each one, not too hard. Just so that you know it's, um, you know, tight. And then um, let's just... Oh, <laughs> I just want to get one of these underneath the, the, the side here. So one either side of the string in the middle, little pull again and make two knots like that. And then we'll just cut them off there. Okay, so we now have this nicely bound and hopefully you've checked that all your pages are going the right way i did do that i think before <laughs> but the things that can go wrong i tell you they do go wrong um just folding these nice and flat such beautiful images here okay Take the needle away. Oh, 
right, so we've got that now attached to our little spine. Okay, now what we're going to do is we want to put this in here now. So this is the next step. Right, so let's get that out the way. Um, and you want to get, I'm going to be using my um, beacon now because, as you know, this is far more forgiving. Um, so... <laughs> When you want to move this around so i think this is the easiest way to, to the best glue to really use so i'm holding this as flat as possible and i will just uh, speed this section up here just putting glue onto the spine bit okay guys so now what you want to do is you want to keep this bit lifted up you want to fit this into the valley here at both sides okay so it's a bit of a fiddly situation um, let's just check that that's where you want it and it's matching up yeah so oh, that's where I want it there I'm going to just put one of these on on that side and then that's where I want it on that side so two of those there and then the same on this side just to make sure that that is the fold line and it does look that way so Okay, those will just keep that edge nice and flush so then it's just a case of um, getting this piece nice and stuck and then flick it over and do that side there and underneath this bit yeah and now we can just stick down this bit here which you could even do with double-sided tape but i think it just would be a bit awkward so i'm going to just put this glue back on and then we can just run that nicely along there like that okay and just move your little clip a little bit along just to keep that edge you know stuck as well so that's come on there nicely um, and that bit's looking nice and flat as well right um now i think what we want to do is i think that's get your bone folder just have a look do this gently just see where that fold line is and not with a tip, um, just get that coming along nicely there. Okay. Right. Now what we want to do is we want to get the last bit in. We want to stick this bit on over here. So that's the last little bit. I want to just um, make doubly sure now that if I take these clips off, that this is like nicely... very clear about where that fold line is okay and um, there's just some areas here which are not quite stuck so I'm going to touch those up quickly before we do the rest of this okay so let's go and tackle this bit now this bit is always scary to me I think I'm going to turn it around on its side and then I can see easy easier hopefully you can see right so I will speed this up with the gluing and everything 
you just keep an eye out for what I'm doing. Okay, so just want to make sure that this is nice and attached. So that looks about right. Now you can put on your little clips here just to keep it all down. So they are great for that. You know, they're nice and strong, these clips. So um, they really do the job, especially when you're wanting a little bit of pressure on um, with gluing. So I love them for that. Okay, so we've got all of that in place um, and everything looks like we've pretty much got it in place. Um, now I'd, I might need to move this off the fold line, so let's just do that. Okay, um, everything looks pretty good. So now we just need to fold that up like that. And... Um, Let's just get that the book out. We've got our envelopes there. We've got our journal going like that. And then hopefully nothing's going to spring off that I've stuck yet with the clips. Yeah, so I think um, that bit just needs to go over now like that. Okay, so we'll leave it to dry. Um... I would leave it to dry and I'll probably leave this clip on the bottom here um, like that just to keep that one in play okay ladies so we've now got everything together that you need to get together all that remains now is the bits and bobs so your tags and your ephemera to go in um, so that's about everything here if you want to see how the ephemera um, goes in, then go and have a look at my flip through video because I take out each and every piece. But this is the the basis of this, this uh, folio. All right, so everything you needed to know is here. So this will now go into the pocket, as I said. You've, you've, you'll see where these bits go. This actually goes into this envelope here. Um, and you'll see on my flip through video where everything goes. So I'm not going to do another video on that. Um, you'll be able to put in your little tie there um, and your ephemera bits. It's all ready to do that. Okay, so I hope that you've had fun with that. Um, and you'll now be able to make these hopefully for Easter. Yeah, or any other lovely gift for any of your family or friends. So thank you guys so much for following along with me. This has been really exciting. I love doing things with you guys. So thank you so much. Um, let me know how yours has turned out. You can always send me a picture on the email or Instagram or 
uh, Facebook or any of the Facebook groups. However, I'd love to tag me in so I can have a look if you complete one. Um, and thanks again for your lovely comments and support. It's been absolutely fantastic. Until next time, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.